The construction of the so-called border wall first began in 1993 between San Diego and Tijuana. By 2006, only 14 miles of the fence had been completed, at a cost of $39 million. In 2008, an amendment was passed to build 670 miles of fencing by the end of the year. But by 2011, only 649 miles of fences scattered in disconnected pieces along the southwest border had been completed. Of those, 299 non-contiguous miles of vehicle barriers were built at an approximate cost of $1.7 million per mile. And 350 non-contiguous miles of pedestrian fencing were built at an estimated cost of $6.5 million per mile. The project is too expensive to ever be finished. Also in 2011, a virtual wall was announced with mobile surveillance and unmanned drones across the entire 2,000-mile border to be implemented at a cost of over $7 billion. A pilot program with 53 miles of virtual surveillance was launched in Arizona, but later abandoned after $1 billion was spent. The project was deemed not to be cost-effective. Physical walls have not only failed to slow illegal immigration, but have also caused a rise of migrants' deaths. With higher security, people still attempt the crossing, but in more remote and risky border areas. At the same time, walls can cause environmental problems, such as the erosion of mountains, the dumping of erosion waste into rivers, and consequential flooding. Physical fences also restrict the movement of animals, impeding their ability to find mates, food, and water sources. At this point, virtual walls seem to be a more feasible solution. However, some Americans are worried about the privacy issues related to high-tech surveillance. Others have expressed concerns about the health safety issues related to the use of lasers, radar, and biometric technology. 